Hi guys and welcome to another mod review spotlight. Today I'm going to be checking out the Koi Mod Mod. Now this is created by Blue Orchard or Blue Orchid. I can't quite work out which one. I think it's Orchard. And there'll be a link in the description as to where you can get this and the installation is really easy. I did it nice and smooth all first time and it's very good. So basically what this mod does is it adds different kinds of fish to the game. So you know you can just kind of, you can have a fishing rod and you fish and you bring up fish, but you never actually see the fish in the water. This actually makes real life, well, kind of real life mobs in the water that move around and drop various things. So this one is called the Dragon Koi Egg. The Dragon Koi, sorry. And these are what the Dragon Koi eggs look like. Now, these Dragon Koi's, they can drop, they drop eggs, experience, and they also have a chance of dropping a diamond. So, if you're running low on diamonds and stuff, then just kind of look around for these guys, because they spawn in any body of water, and you may be able to get a diamond. It's a small chance. Each of these fish drop various items, but it's only a small chance that it will actually get the item that they drop. So, these are very beautiful. They're red and orange with, uh, I do believe that's blue eyes, or yellowy black eyes. I think it's yellow and black eyes, but they're all very cool. All the fish look really good, and the textures are amazing, and props go out to the person who made the textures. So our second one is a white fish. It's called Tancho. The Tancho eggs look like this, and the Tancho drops redstone. Now, these are just simple white fish. They have a few shading around the gills and things, but they're just, they're just basically white fish. But they're all very cool. And they can drop you redstone, so that's always good if you're missing some redstone for that final final piston that you need. Now our third one is the Butterfly Koi. Now there's only one of these in here, I thought a bit too crowded. And these are smaller fish, they're not as large as the other ones, they're quite small. And these guys look like this, and they have a chance to drop an iron ingot. So if you see one of these guys, definitely give it a shot and see if you can get some iron from it. Now our fourth fish is the Buddha fish. Now this is a tiny, tiny fish, which you can only just about see, and they're kind of bobbing around and doing their various things. And this is the smallest fish we actually have. Their eggs look like this, and they drop glowstone dust. And they're really tiny, but they're very, very cute. And they're very useful as well if they give you that, that dust. This one is the Shisu fish. Its eggs look like this, bright orange with uh, some black dots and yellow bits, uh, white bits, sorry. And these guys have a chance to drop clay. Now they're really nice coloured, they're orangey red with a white top. You see these quite commonly in the koi fish ponds if you're in the garden centre or whatever. So they're very lifelike in colouring and stuff, not in the block shape. And they can drop you clay. I mean clay is fairly common anyway, so I'm fairly certain that these fish are going to be quite common fish. But they're still good, and they still drop some nice things, so that's always nice. And this is the Moon Koi Fish. Now, I really like this one. It's like a dark black colour with really nice purple eyes. Now, this guy is really good. He'll drop gold ingots, and his eggs actually look really cool. These are my favourite colours for the eggs that you can choose. They're like a blue surrounded by a dark purple. Very cool. And he drops gold ingots. Unfortunately, the gold ingots are kind of useless, to be honest. But he's very nice, so if you see him, definitely see if you can get some gold from him. Now this is the Chargoy fish, I think I'm saying that correctly. This is a very pretty fish, it's kind of like a yellowy, kind of off-kilted green. You can see him kind of better when he pokes through the thing. He looks very cool, and this guy, he's, he's a bit weird. I don't quite understand how he drops this, but he drops an apple, and his eggs are like a greeny colour. So now all of the fish, I kind of understand how you could get various items, like, because fish will eat quite a lot of anything, and they'll eat various items and stuff. So all of these, like the gold and the various dusty bits, I mean, you can get that in their stomach. But an apple, I can't imagine getting an edible apple out of a fish's stomach. But it is, nevertheless, these guys look really cool, and they can give you food, so that's good. Now this is the Doit, Doitsu fish, I think I said that right. Now this is like the fish at the end, however his colours are inverted, he's like coloured on the top and white on the bottom. He's very cool. Now the eggs look like this, and he can drop string. Now I think this guy's going to be very very common, because string's quite common. I mean, you just kill kill spiders and go into the, the, the mine shaft so you can get it from the ceilings and stuff. So I think this guy's going to be pretty common, but nevertheless, string is very useful and can get you out of a tight pinch. And he's very pretty to look at. 
Now, last but not least, we have this one, which is a very, very difficult word to say. So I'm going to give it a go, so don't laugh at me. It's a Karai Mono, Karai Mono, something? <laughs> and he's really pretty. He's black in the center, white on the edge, with a nice piercing kind of cyan -y blue eyes. And his eggs are fairly simple, just kind of circular with black outline. And he drops coal. So this guy is very, very useful in the beginning of the survival world, or whatever you're doing. You see him, you want to kind of give him a bash over the head and see if he gives you some coal. Now, those are our fish. There's nine fish in total, all these beautiful little creatures. But there's also an additional item I'd like to show you guys. Now, this is really useful, and it makes the fish... I think it makes the fish breed. That's what I imagine it does. So if you have some flowers or if you have some mushrooms, just pop them on top of each other, and you can make koi flakes. And you can do this by any kind of colours. It doesn't matter what the colours are. You can have, like, two yellows or two reds. Or even two of the same mushrooms. You can have two brown mushrooms, or you can have two red mushrooms. And what this basically does is it's basically a little treat for your fish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break the glass here, and then just throw some in. And they kind of go absolutely mental for it, and they drop to the bottom, as fish usually do. And then they're happy. Now I'm not quite sure if they do breed, if they have a chance of dropping eggs or something. But nevertheless, they do makes them happy and that's always a good thing now when you do kill these guys they also do have a chance to drop eggs so if you do kind of want to make your own fish pond kind of thing in your house just kill a few of them pick up some eggs and then you can kind of transport them wherever you want to go this makes sense because fish kind of do have eggs inside them so you can kind of gut them and scoop them out and put them in your pond and they grow kind of thing it's very gross that's a very gross way of looking at it but you can like make your own little fish ponds if you like now the main reason half of these glitching out, I believe, is because the pens aren't really that big, they're only like 2 by 3 they're not huge, and I think they kind of need larger bits of water to move around in, so this isn't really the best kind of area to show them off. But they are very pretty, and they add they just add something to your survival series, or to your game, if it's private, or even on a server, I do believe this is server compatible. So there's going to be a link in the description, so do check it out, give props to the creator, because this is a fantastic mod. If you use it, and if you use it like in a video or anything, please let me know, put like a video response. I'd love to see how you used it. And we have a bouncing fish. If, um, <laughs> I'll show you why he's bouncing. If, um, if you use an egg on land, you get this kind of effect, where the fish bounce. I mean, they bounce quite high as well. Like, if we actually go outside of here and go over here. I mean, they bounce ridiculously high, like sometimes three to four blocks high, trying to get in search of water. That guy just completely disappeared off into the sunset. <laughs> this is a really fantastic mod. I really like this, and I'm really tempted to have it in my new survival series that will be starting fairly soon. So do check it out. Leave a comment, a like, and a subscribe if you like it. If you want to see any other mods, please tell me in the comment section, and I will do my best to accommodate. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.